Good morning. Welcome to Gloucestershire. I mean, it's nearly Wales, but it is Gloucestershire. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. That's some vines and some sheep and a noisy donkey up on the hill. And this is where we've been having breakfast. On our veranda, little hamper. It's very nice. More vines. We're surrounded by vines on all sides. Right, we're going to go off up to the lodge at some point and uh, sample the sample the local produce. Here we are in amongst the vines, walking up to the house, which is up there. Sort of French-like countryside. Give the car. Just leaving with a boot full of wine, most likely. Yeah, so these are all the vines. And down here, some grapeies. So, somewhere along here is my vine. Now you notice they're sort of, they're very red grapes. See, quite reddish. That's the variety. If you compare them to like a Pinot, which is very, very much blacker. So, go for a wonder. It's down here. Here I am. Look, it's proof. You've got to share a birthday. So, it's his. Quite pale, you can see. Some of them are quite pale. I think the weather hasn't been too kind to him, but got some little bunches. And there's grapes on the other side as well, looking a little healthier over there. This is inside Newen Church. This, as you might have guessed, is Newent Lake, which is a lake in Newent. <laughs> it's very clever, this. I'm just going for a, a lap to have some lunch. Just going on the vineyard tour at three o'clock. It's just such amazing weather. October weather. Hi, ducks. Carry on. Keep foraging. Right now, around the back of the lake, this area is called Toby's Hole. So it's obviously mine. Um, I guess I just have to plant a flag and then and claim ownership. Just waiting to go on our tour. wondered what could actually be achieved with this land um, because it's on the day like today you can see it's been very suitable for, um, for growing vines on this sort of south facing bank here. Um, so 1973, half acre plot just on the other side of the ridge over there. Um, he conducted his experiment, uh, planted it out with vines. Three years later, 1976, he got his first harvest. Uh, from that half acre plot, he managed to get around 300 bottles of wine. This is the winery. Um, the second largest in the country. If you produce a very small quantity, you know, less than what's required to, to produce your own wine, you can put it together with everyone else's in a cooperative tank of either red, white or rosé. And so for your X amount of kilos of, of red grapes, you'll get Y bottles back in nine months' time. Um, and so because everyone's fruit ripens at the same time of year, it's not just our fruit we've got to worry about. So during harvest time it gets incredibly busy up here. And this is just the start of, of things getting busy really. Um, what you can see going on here is some fruit's been brought up and it's been weighed. Can everyone hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, it's been brought up and it's been weighed in these plastic containers. It'll then be dropped into these large hoppers, um, the bottom of which is like an auger mechanism. It's like a large screw. 
This serves several purposes. Um, first, it will split the skins of the, the grapes. This allows for easy pressing, the juice to run a lot easier. It will partially destem the grapes as well. And it will also, as you can see, basically just push the grapes through into the presses that we've got here. This is the female should be safe from Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, 9 to 5. But they open it anyway. We've just got back after eating a lot and now feeling slightly full, <laughs> very full. But it's still very nice out so I'm going to take some pictures of some stars hopefully out in the cold. So it's a beautiful clear night again and um, that star in the middle there, that's not a star actually, that's a planet. Um, I'm going to have to check the star charts, but I think that's Venus. It's certainly very purple if you zoom in. I don't know whether you can see any of this. I'm hoping there will be the opportunity to do some video cleanup. If not, I'll show you some stills. But um, that is the Great Plough. Let me just show you a shot of what happens when you put a very long exposure on, give you an idea of how many stars there are above us. Good morning. Now you get to see what it's like with all the curtains open. The view out to the vineyard is lovely. It really is an amazing place to wake up. Lots of birdies and sheep and a demented donkey and some llamas. What more could you want? So we've got to go back up the path again, have breakfast, and then we're going to do a little walk around, and then we're going to, we might actually check out what's up there. Be a bit cheeky and then come back to the shop. We just step, stopped by to um, give some friendly words of encouragement to the vine. Grow. Grow. Make grapes. <laughs> make, make, good wine. make nice dessert wine, which is, seems to be what you're doing rather well. Keep it up. I'm coming back for your juice. <laughs> coming back for your grapes? <laughs> yeah, if there's any grapes left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is lovely weather, so the grapes are nice. They're shriveling up, as you can see, which they're supposed to do, but they still they taste like raisins if you eat them. They're not they're not rotting, they're just shriveling, so they lose the water and just left loads of sugar. So then you can make dessert wine, which is what I currently have from last year in the boot of the car. So keep it up. Don't stop now, you're nearly there, you're nearly at harvest time. You're within a couple of weeks, so keep going. So we're trying to walk back to the to the lodge. We're at the high end of the field, so we're, I'm guessing which would be the right path to lead us there. This one's a little. Oh, careful! It doesn't grab your leg. They're out to get you. These things. They're hooks. Oh, it's kind of a little bit collapsed. They're very grabby, these vines. Come on. <laughs> They've got lots of these little tentacles that they use, as you can see here, to grab onto things. And if they see you come in, they just grab. They're like, quick, it'll do. So, this is most of the way up May Hill, and you might notice there's a lot of mushrooms on the ground here. Huge great mushrooms. That's a fantastic view down there. I'm trying to see if I recognise any of these hills. Uh, that's kind of towards Dursley, that way, I think, and then we are going 
um, which way? We're going east, back towards the vineyard. Now this is May Hill, and one of the wines is called May Hill, so you can see this hill from the vineyard, and I'm hoping vice versa when we get to the top. Not just up there. This is the very top of May Hill. In the trees here, there's a, they've got this little conifer wood, which doesn't seem very likely, but um, it's very nice. It provides a bit of shade because there's not a lot of trees around. Afternoon. It's uh, it's a Thursday, and it's my uh, regular walk. So it's not quite regular today because I'm doing a round walk because I'm feeling rubbish. I'm having a day off. In fact, it's not a very good day all in all, to be perfectly honest. Um, Steve Jobs passed away this morning, aged only 56. And uh, to say he's had a large influence is an understatement, and on me in particular, because I mean, these vlogs are shot on an iPhone and edited on the Mac, so you get the idea. Anyway, so, I'm trying to make the most of it, that today that is, do something around the house, do a bit of tidying, maybe get down to a few videos that I've never got around to editing. But the weather's turned, it's very much autumn now, it's about six degrees cooler than it was yesterday, uh, despite the sunglasses, <laughs> if I'm, in, I'm not wearing them next, but I am. Um, but it's cold, I give you that. Um, and what we got on this weekend coming, uh, we've got a Bentley, Bentley lunch, which will be fun. And then the following weekend, we go back west uh, to Warwickshire this time to visit Mac and Henry. So that will be cool. And I'm looking at the cemetery and there's a funeral going on. Do you get the feeling sometimes, some days, that this, this, this planets just don't line up properly? Um, you know, things just don't work. I guess that's just how it is. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, it's a new day. So this is uh, Chiswick Harbour. Now, it's a very little private harbour with people's boats and houses around it. So if they live here, they've got someone to store their boats and it has its own lock. As you can see, to get the boats in a fortune. Now to say it's windy around here, slight, slightly understating the matter. Um, very, very strong. It's going to be risky around here. Anyway, I'm continuing my round walk. This is a Grove Park church, uh, St Paul's. Beautiful place. It just seemed appropriate at this moment. So. A little bit of a candle for Mr. Jobs. And the sun's coming. 